Well, here I am, nearly ready to go. All packed up, bike in the box, uh, all my gear. It's Thursday morning, one more day tomorrow, uh, today, and then tomorrow we're starting riding. It's all very exciting, but a little bit uh, apprehensive at the same time. Let's see how I go. Here we are, guys. Off to Jetstar. Andrew, meet up, meet up. This lady's going to give us a big discount on our baggage because Peter's about 50 kilos, I reckon. Looks like he's about 50 kilos. Did you guys come in under? <laughs> yeah. I was five over. I was five. <laughs> it was Steve. We said it to his friend last night. He's like going, I've just got these wheels. Do you think they'll look okay on the BMC? <laughs> they were proposing with. We had to drop the seat of wheels back to some meals place last night. And then the lightweight stuff went with the truck. We're going to get that wheel. Oh, we'll do it at the end. We'll do it at the end. Sorry, I'm getting it. Yeah. Yeah. Just get a photo of me with the. <laughs> the friendly hostess. What's this for? Come out of here. Here's our hotel. Best taxi driver in Sydney, this one. Fit all that gear in there. Well done, mate. Here's Andrew unpacking his bike. Hope it's still here. Here's my bike. In the box. Get her out and put it together. Come on, Andrew, what are you doing? It's, uh, it's well and truly. Ah, oh, that bike's coming together well. It's, uh, it's almost done. Looking good. Mine's still in pieces. <laughs> Here she is. No wheels yet. Here she is, all set, ready to go. And Andrew's bike. It's all ready to go too. Like the bought one. Looking good one. Yeah, I'm in. Need a volunteer, everyone. Volunteer, I can find this. <laughs> Getting all the gear ready in here. And I need my magical chainsaw. Oh, it's already. Yeah, here's mate. the Brains Trust walking around on his phone. Suffering from cancer, and really, if 
nothing else, know that as your joints are hurting and as your thirst is increasing and as you're suffering over the next 10 days doing really superhuman things, real people, many of whom probably yourselves know or have members of your family or friends who suffer from this horrible diagnosis, many of these people will in the future benefit from what you're doing now. And I personally have to thank you on behalf of them and on behalf of the wonderful staff who make these kind of things happen, the researchers and the clinical uh, investigators and the doctors, nurses and ancillary staff who are doing all the right things to deliver these kind of therapies and make a meaningful impact on cancer as it exists today. Thanks so much. Person, not, not just Ryder and or any support person or team Ryder who lends a hand and digs in and helps somebody else out. It's about helping other people. So this is what we're all about. The next jersey is for the guts, which is the blue, which is for care, cure the future. And uh, this is a pretty good jersey. And this is the one that uh, this is that designed by Reg. Massa, and you can probably see Reggie's signature um, <laughs> issue on that one, because it's always out there, uh, from Motorama, and Action Coach, good, 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 good. Now, this jersey goes to the person who has had to dig in, gone up and beyond, and showed their guts in their day, in themselves, or in some cases, like ever, yeah, having to ride a hold out and be thrown from a dairy cow. Um, Bull! And it's hard, you know, we get riders from all over Australia and some of them, you know, from all over the world, and it takes a lot of guts to do the training for a 1400 kilometre ride by yourself, particularly when you have to do it in sub zero weather. And I was out riding with the guy who gets the jersey on, I don't know what day it was this week, and they've flown in to Sydney, and we were talking about how it was 19 degrees and how it was a beautiful lovely morning and this guy recounted a story how only months or weeks earlier he had ridden home from work it was 42 miles from his work to his home from where he works in Surrey back into Chelsea where he lives he said that he got lost on the way home from a two hour journey which was a lot longer than that it was minus 5 degrees <laughs> he couldn't feel his hands he couldn't get his feet and he literally started crying he walked the front door and his flatmate said mate what the hell happened to you? So the Guts Award goes to the guy who's trained and all the work by himself in those sorts of conditions. And only two weeks ago, Paul Holmes was out of with bronchitis and he's still here tonight and he's holding the New Jersey. And for that, Paul Yeah. <laughs> 